Okay, hey guys, a really quick update this week. It's week 41, um, and we've been completely up against it. It's been a really, really hectic week as we get ready to launch our Kickstarter campaign. We've been spending a lot of time focusing on our social media, so we've been updating the Twitter a lot more often. We've completely revamped the Facebook page. We've created a new Vimeo channel where you can see all of the blogs. We've also been doing a load of work in production design. Shaz has been working really, really hard sketching up character concepts and, and art and culture concepts for this race of people that live beneath the ocean. So we've got kind of um, boards of Greek culture patterns and artwork along with Egyptian and Celtic so we can kind of see where this culture came from and um, who they inspired when they disappeared beneath the ocean. Uh, we've also been doing the same thing with warriors. So we've got Greek warriors, Celtic warriors, Egyptian warriors and then trying to kind of feed through and link up all the, the gaps between those to find out what this race look like underneath the ocean, what their weapons and armour and costume look like. So it's been really, really great from that point of view in art development. The other thing, I've literally just got back from London um, and we spent a couple of days up there, we interviewed Elliot Grove. Elliot is the head of Rain Dance Film Festival, and we were interviewing him for our Kickstarter campaign. Rain Dance obviously are very, very supportive of this project. They ran the competition, which we won, which got the ball rolling on this whole underwater project six months ago, nine months ago now, in fact. So really, really great interview. I'm going to leave you with that in just a moment. Um, and I'm going to go and carry on tweaking some notes because we've got a really exciting lead. We've got a great contact in 20th Century Fox. And we're going to be sending over a copy of the feature-length script, the first of the three movies for the feature-length Underwater Realm. So really, really cool. Engage with us in social media. Spread the word about the Kickstarter. It's going to be launching this week. I've got to get back to what I'm doing here. And I'm going to leave you with some very flattering comments from Elliot Grove of Raindance Festival. Raindance is supporting the Underwater Realm project because it is an exciting, bold, innovative project combining new technology and brilliant ideas with some deeply passionate personal filmmakers and it's what Raindance is all about. Raindance ran a competition with Pepsi last year in which we asked for people to come up with a two-minute film and it was won by the people behind the Underwater Realm project. They showed us in their little two-minute film that their scope was so huge and expansive that they deserved to win based on the merit of the project, the way they executed it, the talent and the technical expertise and wow, we're really excited to see what the Underwater Realm project is going to turn out like. We really believe that this project is probably the most exciting project on film for cinema of any project that we have seen since our birth nearly 20 years ago. Now there's something I want to point out about the Underwater Realm project on Kickstarter. Nobody is getting paid a penny, which means your dollar, your penny, your pence, your euro goes far further on this campaign than it would on any other Kickstarter campaign I've ever been made aware of. So my guess is that if you're watching this, you're interested in participating. And there's two different ways you can participate. You can give money through Kickstarter and put yourself in a position to get some of the great benefits that the team has put together. Or if you're broke, why not just help us out by spreading the word? The Underwater Realm Project is a project that I, Elliot Grove of Raindance, really believe in. Get behind it, and it doesn't matter where in the world that you live. We can use every little bit. It all helps.